Phil Torres, your 51 Buick estate wagon is uh, knocking them dead here. And you're getting as many questions about the canoe as you are the car. Yeah, that's right. It's a, a 1928 canoe built by the Willis Brothers down in Tacoma. Uh, they built boats from 1905 to 1967. This is number 297. And it was taken to the UW Boathouse in the 20s and used as a rental. Uh, with George Lease, it's stamped with a woodburn mark in it with UW and uh, George Lease's name in there. And then I found it about a year ago. It was covered in fiberglass and decided I think this would look good on my car. So, And it does, and it goes well with the wood on the side of your woody. What came first, the canoe or the car? I've had the car 36 years, so I've had it a long time. The canoe, I've had a year. You're not old enough to have this car 36 years. Well, it's only five. <laughs> Well, tell us a little bit about it. This is a spectacular uh, Woody. I was looking for a Pontiac, a, a 50 tinny, they call them. It's just the metal, no wood on it, and I couldn't find one. And a buddy of mine found this in uh, Burbank, California. I lived in Los Angeles. It was my everyday rider, and I used it for uh, my antique business. And used to haul antiques all over the top of it, just like it's doing now again. And I probably put about... 40,000 miles on it in the first in those years in the mid 70s. I have to ask the question that is on every viewer's mind that you have been asked already many times. This is a Woody that came from California. Was it ever a surf wagon? No. I was a surfer, but we used panel trucks in the old days and Volkswagen buses. There were a few guys with some Woodies, some Fords, but they were usually pretty beat. This car, I'd never put a board in it, never had one on top of it. I it's not really a surf car. They were, they were the top of the line for Buick at the time, and it was more of a, an estate vehicle. And that's why I never put them on here. I was looking to do it, but then when I found the canoe, I thought that's going to look right on there. It does look right. One of the things that's the most interesting about Woody's is the fact that they were labor-intensive, they deteriorated faster than their steel-bodied brothers, but they cost more. What's, what's that about? Yeah, they, well, the people that had them usually had to have someone take care of them for them. They were, you know, kind of special people, you know. So, uh, yeah, they were just probably not maintained. That's the whole problem. You just have to watch it. You can't have to... The wood is not hard to take care of. The last time I varnished this car was 1982. And it's got some uh, McCloskey's Man of War, which was the good varnish, the boat varnish in the old days. And it had lead in it. You can't even buy it now. But it... Uh, it's held up real well. I mean, how many years is that? A lot. 27 years or something like that. Yeah. Straight eight under the hood? Straight eight, yeah. It was all rebuilt in 82. I did it myself. And um, pretty much did everything except the upholstery. I had somebody else do the upholstery for me. Well, Phil, thank you very much for having your beautiful Buick Woody on the show. It is gorgeous, uh, as is the canoe on the top.